they're back. Well, the first episode of Sister Wives season 15 just aired and I've prepared a review and recap just for you guys. I was kind of surprised because the first episode is usually light and filled with feel-good moments to set up the season, but this episode was intense and heavy right off the bat. There was crying, a cringe-worthy lunch, and Cody even says that he told friends recently he no longer wants to advocate for plural marriage, which is crazy. So let's start this recap and review of Sister Wives Season 15, Episode 1. The episode begins with a quick rundown of how far away the wives live from each other now, and Cody says everything is kind of falling apart. Wow, okay. There are major money issues, but that's the least of their problems. So already in the intro, it sounds like this is the worst it's ever been for the whole family. Cue a scene where Robin and Cody move into their new rental and they're looking to also buy it. Oh god, weren't we done with the Cody vs. Robin renting or buying storyline last season? They're still arguing about it and I'm going to give this section an annoying storyline award because no one cares how much paperwork it takes for them to buy a house or hearing about that. Am I right? And also, this whole thing they keep bringing up about what they think God wants them to do about renting. Cody's like, I think God wants us to decide and stick to it. Like, well, I think God has better things to do than worry about whether Robin and Cody rent or buy. Like, I don't know. World hunger, maybe? Something like that. Next, the whole crew get together for lunch, which apparently they don't do very much anymore. Janelle, who before you'll remember never wanted to go to group lunches, she felt awkward, now invited everyone and is ready to ask them tough questions and open a can of worms, which is so un-Janelle, so things must be bad. She asked them, why did you enter the principal? So basically, why did they want to be in polygamy? And everyone seems surprised, like, wow, did she just ask that? Like... That's a big question, but I think a fair question because are they being the family they always imagined? Like, I don't really think so. They all give their reasons, which are exactly what you would expect for Mary. It's how she grew up. Christine liked the idea of a sisterhood that she saw between her grandmothers. Then Cody says he told friends lately that he no longer wants to advocate for plural marriage anymore. He gets all the love he wants, but he feels like they pine all the time for more, so it's like unfair. He says that he told Logan he messed everything up and that it's a struggle. A big statement because the whole idea behind doing the show was to advocate for making people understand that polygamists are functional, normal people. So this statement is like a whole full circle, like what can I say? He says that sometimes he wonders why he's done this to himself and them. Like, wow. Wow. And basically, they all agree that it just doesn't feel the same anymore. Robin says that the pink elephant in the room is that maybe they think it's her that changed things in the family because everyone keeps saying things changed when they moved to Vegas, which coincides with when she kind of got integrated into the family. She starts crying and Janelle has to go over there to comfort her. You know, all those changes happened at the same time, who knows, but I think it's possible that Robin actually did have some type of effect on the family. It's not a stretch, you know? Christine says it's stressful when Cody comes over to their house because he's disruptive to their schedule and they have to cram everything in a few hours. But I mean, wouldn't it have been like that for years? But she seems really unhappy with the situation. She thinks he's not settling in when he's there and he's always on the phone. And cue his confessional where he says it's because he doesn't feel like engaging, which, you know depressing. And take a look at how Robin looks at Christine when Christine's talking. I don't know what this is. 
is it shock or disgust? Like, how would you describe this look? That being said, I think these two aren't ready to, you know, get along right now. I just feel like, yes, the previews are right. Like, there may be big tension because what is up with that look? Either way, I mean, this kind of is the lay of the land. This lunch is sets the lay of the land for how things are and probably things that, you know, dynamics that are going to be discussed throughout the season. And in the following scene after the cringeworthy lunch, hallelujah, Cody and Robin get a call from their lender that they were finally able to purchase their house that they're renting, which we knew because it was in the news a while ago. So, and that house was really expensive, you know, so almost a million dollars here. But I'm just relieved that the conversation is over. I mean, they bought the house. They can't talk about this anymore. So that's great. And finally, everyone gets together, I believe at Christine's house, except Mary because she was away on business. And I find this suspicious that she wasn't here because there have been weird rumors that Maddie and Mary have like weird tension or maybe don't get along. And she also wasn't there at Axel's birth. So I don't know, make of this as you will, but Mary wasn't there. And uh, so the whole family is greeting Maddie and Caleb with their kids, Axel and Evie. Evie is so cute and has like these adorable blue eyes and is very alert. Everyone keeps saying how alert she is and how she's going to conquer the world. And Cody has incredibly nice things to say about the baby, which is so cute. And everyone gushes. Robin decides that she, for the grandkids, wants to be called Bobby which is like a Czechoslovakian term. Janelle wants to be grandma, standard. <laughs> and Christine is Oma, which is a German name for grandma, I believe. And Mary doesn't even want a name. So I don't even know what that means. Caleb mentions that they make cute kids and he wants to continue to have kids. And Maddie pretty much tells him then he can have the babies himself. But who are we kidding? They're going to keep having kids. Like, that's what I think anyway. And the episode ends with Cody saying that the wives should stop complaining about the divide in the family. And if they need something fixed, fix it. Like, he doesn't want to be the middleman and they shouldn't be leaning on him to fix it. They should fix it themselves. Well, I don't know about that. I think Cody needs to... Cody needs to do his part, like, but I understand how it's hard for him to hear about the complaining all the time. But, you know, pretty, pretty bad. It's pretty bad with the Browns, what can I say? But, alright guys, thank you so much for listening the whole way through to my recap. Let's see what the next episode has in store. But, you know, the premiere, my final thoughts are, I mean, it's a disaster in Flagstaff. <laughs> It's a disaster, and hopefully they work on fixing the disaster. Um, this episode didn't really broach on Mary and Cody's relationship, but I saw an interview he did with Entertainment Tonight, like around the premiere, and um, yeah, he says that he does not stay over at Mary's. Like, And Mary, during the episode, says that Cody will only call her for like business reasons, so... Um, yeah, it's not great there either. So hopefully things get better. I don't know, guys. What do you guys think of the premiere? Please like this video if you like it. And please subscribe to my channel for more content and recaps of Sister Wives. Thanks, guys.